Hello and welcome to BND class. Under the Comics module, today we are going to derive Marshallian demand curve using price consumption curve. Before I begin, if you are new to our channel, I request you to please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you will be notified for any latest releases and updates. So let's begin. Marshallian demand curve. Before I begin further or I move further, I have provided a link above that explains the income substitution and price effect in the consumer behavior or consumer equilibrium using indifference curve. Please go through the video so that you will be having some idea regarding the price effect, substitution effect and income effect and the derivation of Marshall, Marshallian demand curve will be easy to understand to all of you. So moving forward, the entire concept of Marshallian demand curve is that how a demand curve is derived with the help of consumer equilibrium by changing the price of a commodity. Let us suppose there are two goods X and good Y as represented on x axis and y axis on your screen. If AB is the given budget line given by the equation x into px plus y into py is equal to m that is the equation that represents the straight line AB at point E1 on the indifference curve IC1, the consumer finds it equilib its equilibrium by consuming x1 quantity of goods x and y1 quantity of goods y. Now, let us suppose the price of goods x is reduced. So, there will be a price effect which is combination of substitution effect and income effect which we have already discussed in our earlier video about which I mentioned in the starting of the video itself and because of these two effects the consumer will increase the consum consumption of good X. So the budget line for the consumer will shift and the new budget line will become AC. Since the real income of the consumer is increased due to income effect again, the consumer will find its new equilibrium on a higher indifference curve. Let us suppose the indifference curve is IC2 and at point E2, the consumer finds it its equilibrium, whereby the consumer is consuming more quantity of goods X and goods Y as well. When we connect these two equilibrium points as shown with a dotted red line on the screen, we get price consumption now, the effects that we discussed just now, we will represent on a below panel whereby I have represented good X on X axis and the price of good X on the Y axis. 
at the point P1, when the consumer was in initial equilibrium, let us suppose P1 was the price for the good X. So that the consumer was consuming X1 quantity of good X. Now, as we assumed earlier that the price of the good X was reduced, let us suppose the price has reduced and it has reached to P2. Whereby the consumer attains its equilibrium on the higher IC curve that is IC2 at point E2. Consuming X2 quantity of goods X. When we combine these two intersecting points on the below panel of the figure as shown on the screen, we will get a demand curve that is dx. That is, this is the demand curve for good x. It also verifies the law of demand that is, negative relation between price and unit of commodity demanded. This Marshallian demand curve holds good for the normal goods and also it is derived using the concept of price consumption curve from the effects of change in price shown or observed in the equilibrium of the consumer. So this was for today. Thank you for being with us. If you like the video, please share with your friends and please write us comment in the comment section for our improvement and feedbacks. Please subscribe to our channel and yes, keep learning with BNB. Thank you.